Humanoid robots have come a long way. They're no longer just sci-fi dreams. They're starting to enter real-world industries like warehouses and automotive manufacturing. But there's a big problem, and it's holding the entire industry back. However, Agility Robotics is making a bold move to tackle this challenge head-on. And I'd say it's one that could put them ahead of 99% of other humanoid robotics startups. A few years ago, I was interviewing a preventative maintenance expert for a consulting project, and he told a story that stuck with me. There was this old van tucked away in the rafters of a facility, just quietly doing its job for many, many years. No one paid attention to it until it failed. <gasps> that fan turned out to be crucial to the paint shop's operations. And when it stopped, the paint shop shut down. Soon after, the entire facility came to a screeching halt. You can't keep the production line running if you can't paint the cars. Now, a fan may seem like a small problem, but the fan was hard to reach and it was old. So the facility had to find a technician who knew how to fix it. Plus the parts they needed, well, those had to be ordered and shipped. In the end, the plant was shut down for multiple days, costing millions of dollars, and it's all because of a little fan in the rafters. Now, let's think about complex humanoid robots like Agility's Digit. Humanoids are a new technology. So operations could halt if there aren't enough technicians with their right expertise or parts aren't readily available. Now, that facility is in the same position as the automotive company with that little old fan. But this time, it's because of a new technology. Shutting down a line is a significant concern for any business interested in implementing humanoid technology. So many companies are hesitant to invest in these robots when the startups behind them don't have stockpiles of parts or a network of technicians ready to fix them. That's why when Agility Robotics announced this partnership with Rico, I knew it was a big deal. Rico brings decades of experience in service delivery across many different industries. By leveraging Rico's expertise, Agility Robotics is starting to ensure that Digit won't just be impressive in theory, it'll be reliable in practice. Through Rico's Service Advantage program, these robots get the support they need, comprehensive maintenance, fast troubleshooting, and regular checkups. This means less downtime, better performance, and more confidence for companies investing in humanoid robotics. But it doesn't stop there. Agility Robotics is also using the Robots as a Service subscription model, where companies basically rent the robots instead of buying them. This offers a huge advantages for businesses that might not have the upfront capital to invest in purchasing robots. Renting means lower financial risk, and with Rico providing support, companies don't have to worry about maintaining the robots themselves. It's a win-win. So Agility is overcoming one of the biggest barriers to widespread adoption of humanoid robots. Fear. Fear that these robots will break down. Fear that technical issues will disrupt operations. And fear that the long-term costs will outweigh the benefits. The partnership between Agility Robotics and Rico addresses those fears head on. They're not just offering cutting edge technology. They're providing the support infrastructure needed to back it up. But this isn't just a quick fix. It's setting a new standard for how humanoid robots are deployed, maintained, and scaled. Sure, scaling this model globally will take investment. 
but Agility and Rico are already preparing for that challenge. Their proactive approach positions them ahead of most other humanoid robot startups. Until these startups are large enough to support their install base, or they're acquired by larger companies with a service network. This type of partnership could be the blueprint for humanoid robotics startups. As more industries begin using humanoid robotics, partnerships like this will be crucial for reducing fears and gaining the trust of potential customers. Now my question for you is, what do you think are some of the biggest challenges holding the humanoid robot industry back? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe or follow button. And then sign up for my newsletter at techmorrow.com. Take care and have a fantastic rest of your day.